name is Ruth and this is Mrs Hawkins house. I'm going to show you my grocery haul and meal plan for this week. Grocery haul was small enough because I have food left in the freezer, the press, the fridge and then we also have some meals out over the next few weeks. Um, so I'm going to make, make meals from what we have plus what I've bought in Aldi and then we had some birthday extra stuff, snacks and drinks and different things because there's a 21st birthday this weekend. Um, so stick around and I'll show you how that's affected my budget, how I make my meal plan and what we got this week in Aldi. Quick voice over here because I didn't intend to film in Aldi today but I saw this copy and it's gone up to 409. That's the one in the silvery container. That used to be less than three euro. Uh, people have told me on Instagram this week that they, it was 350, 360, and today it's 409. Crazy prices. I lost my receipt, but I want to show you what I got anyway. The whole lot came to 51 euro. I decided to get this this week because actually on weight, it's cheaper than buying bags of salad. And also if I buy lots of different ingredients, I'm not sure if everything will get used. Two weeks from Monday is when we move. Um, so yeah, that'll be handy for me for probably, I would say about three dinners. I'll have that with um, some salmon. The strawberries lasted all week last week. I just portioned them out, um, chopped them and washed them and portioned them out and they lasted all week. That's for our little Friday night birthday party. Um, those and some super mix as well. So I picked up then as well for some sausages from Aldi and some rashers and some pudding. We wouldn't normally buy that pudding, but we have a birthday breakfast, which is a tradition in our house um saturday morning so tomorrow morning as you're watching this also i got a few treats like chocolate and madeira cake my daughter doesn't really like creamy cakes and stuff so she just wants some madeira cake while we have birthday cake um saturday evening for her party and then branded nutella is like a standard birthday breakfast food in our house i have croissants in the freezer i bought them today i didn't actually keep them out to show you because it was too warm and then a bottle of nice fizzy prosecco to celebrate uh, the 21st birthday as well um, and there's her bag of presents I better hide those and then some snacks they were in Aldi this week the branded snacks like they're giant watsons and they're just two snacks so what I've got here in the freezer is a couple of um, for ready or pizza sauces and then still some ingredients to make a curry sauce so there may be a really big curry at some point i'm getting to the point now where i'm unsure as to whether i'll be able to use everything or not but we'll we'll keep trying so as per usual any leftovers go in the freezer whether we're moving or not um so i've got some lasagna and i've got some uh, salsa that sausage roll will get used up Saturday morning, bread, keep it in the freezer because it's very warm and we're toasting at the moment and I still have fish left from last week and a portion of chilli from weeks ago and down there I've got random bits, pizzas, lots of vegetables, pizza bases and some chickeny bits and some chips. Then in the fridge I have some strawberries and tomatoes and mushrooms, I bought those in a local shop today and they cost me nearly 10 euro. Now they're absolutely delicious I have to say but wow the prices are so different and then I also bought some sausages in the butchers and they were five euro for eight which is a lot compared to my usual Aldi prices. Uh, it's just a bit of a funny one um, for the minute I'm trying to manage the best I can and then overall um, what it came to was 66 62 because of two local shop bits and then also um, with Aldi which was 51 and a couple of cents and as you can see that brings my teeny tiny balance of 69.99 right down so that brings the remaining balance for the six month period to three euro and 37 cents obviously we're going to spend some more money over the next two weeks um buying food um but uh, whatever the overspend might be at this stage, I'm still really pleased with the fact that we stayed pretty much within budget considering inflation and the changes to my diet and the busyness of the move. That's the meal plan. We're going out Saturday for the birthday. 
I've got a piece of steak and I've got some fish left in the freezer and it's just going to go with whatever vegetables, salad, maybe I might make a mac and cheese to go on the side with that. I'm not sure. Whatever's in there is being used. I'm not buying anything else. Pork chops is going to be the same. Whatever vegetables, salad or carbs I've got will go with that. And I'm trying to get two days out of that if I can. Um, so then the freezer, <laughs> freezer clear out basically, and then pizza will be the dough balls that are left plus the sauce that I just put in. I've got cheese out there and I've got some pepperoni out there. And I probably will need to do some sort of a shop next week, but I just don't really know what way things are going to pan out yet. Because next Thursday there will be under two weeks left. So, yeah we'll see how that goes stick with me stick with me and i'll i'll keep you fully informed that's it that's our grocery haul and meal plan for this week it's probably going to change um and it's dependent on what needs to be used up it's also dependent on me buying as little as I can get away with for the next few weeks. But we'll have to buy fresh food because there's not very much in. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess, that'll keep us on the straight and narrow to have an idea of what I need to use up. So there it is. I'll see you next week at nine o'clock. If you're enjoying the content, please think about subscribing. Give it a like if you enjoyed it and say hello in the comments. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.